Do you guys sometimes dream about eating insanely tasty Korean street food? Well, I do. And I came to Jeju Island in South Korea just to try some of the best street foods I've ever had. You guys ready? Then come with me. Today I came to the largest traditional market on this island, and it's called Dongmun Traditional Market. Well, what good is a traditional market if I can get some good food? I found this hot dog stall by an old lady, and I thought I might give it a try as well. It's kind of like a sugar-filled pancake, and it's one of the most easily found street foods in Korea. Oh, hello. Ah, hot dog. Hot dog, one more. Trust me, it'll almost never disappoint you. Not saying she looks old or anything, but it looked like she's been doing this for a long time. And you guys know what I like to do. I like to start conversations with ladies. Ah, hot dog. How long have you been making it? 44 years. 44 years? Do you want to eat? 아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아아
Look how they freshly juice them on the spot. You know what it reminds me of? It reminds me of my heart when women take it and squeeze it mercilessly. And I bottle up my scars just like that. At least halabong juice can be sold for money. If bottled up emotions can be sold for money, I'd have more money than Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, and their ex-wives combined. And what is this amazing looking thing? Is this some kind of traditional Korean food that I never knew about? And they're calling it Hashimaki. I guess we stole that from Japan too. Hmm, Gomen Nasai Japan. This is fried dokalbi, which is like the sweet meatloaf wrapped around the stick of rice cake. It was 675. It looked really good. I ended up not getting one. And now that I'm looking at it, I kind of regret it. It looks fantastic. Now, Jeju being an island, there were also some great seafood options here as well. Like this baked butter squid, cheese crabs, lobsters, and even squid gelato. I'm kind of allergic to all of these. So unfortunately, I didn't end up getting any of these. Well, I actually had a scoop of this squid ice cream because this gentleman offered it to me. And unlike other bastards that are on YouTube, I actually have this thing called respect. If you're wondering, the squid gelato was actually quite good. This is one of the very few times when I had too many options in life. So I'm gonna have to make very careful decisions. First, I decided to get this abalone kimbap. For some reason, this was one of the most popular vendors here. And let's be honest, the food is presentable as hell. Almost as gorgeous as me on a good day. Again, they have this honor-based system where you just leave your cash and pick up your own change. That seems like a crazy idea in some countries, but people don't really steal these things in Korea, you know what I mean? Just look at the innocent look in this Korean man's eyes. If Bambi was a Korean man, she'd look just like that. I also got the stir-fried black pork that comes with this funny little black cracker. And you guys know I love protein. At only $7.50, that's a ton of meat and that makes it an offer that I can't refuse. Finally, I got this spicy pork butter abalone fried rice. Wow, that's a long name. This was also one of the most popular vendors in the market. And well, it's fried rice with meat, so how bad could it be, right? And with that, I think I might have just enough for my dinner. The problem that I had was that after I got all my food, I realized that there's no place to sit. That's when I found this supermarket that says, Outside Food Welcomed. Perhaps I can get a can of beer and sit on their table. I believe the owner charged me $4.50 for a can of beer, which is more than double what I would normally have to pay. But I had nowhere else to go and the food was starting to get cold. She got me by the balls real good, almost to the point of crushing them. Alright lady, you got me. Here's what I got. What do you guys think? Do you guys think I made the right choice? You know what, I'm gonna have to start with the pork. I, I probably wanna have it while it's hot. It's, uh, it's not as tender as I imagined. Myself, I, um, I'm used to eating pretty lean meat because, uh, you know, I work out. I can see how other people might not like this that much. I'm pretty sure most people would find this to be too tough. But I kind of liked it about this meat because it was just pure dense protein without too much sauce. But let's not forget about this dark cracker thing. It was like a hard shell and almost hard to break with the fork. So this cracker was really sweet. Almost felt like a dessert. It went surprisingly well with the savory sauce and was a good change of pace from the meat. But I didn't feel like it paired well with the meat. You know when you're with someone and you're each great on your own, but you're just not a great team together? It was kind of like that. Wait, I think a girl might have rejected me saying this exact sentence in the past. I guess there was a gentle way of saying, I don't like you that much. Okay, why don't I try some of that black pork abalone butter fried rice. Oh yes. Butter fried rice with pork? There's no chance that this is not good. I didn't realize, but the owner of this supermarket was watching me the whole time. Isn't it dope? I have a middle-aged guardian angel. So I did mix everything up like I was told to. So how does it taste now? It is better all mixed up. <laughs> I was being a noob. I get so much attention from the older generation everywhere I go. It's kind of weird. It's like they know that my mom didn't give me any attention growing up. My thoughts on the fried rice, the portion can improve. But other than that, it was a pretty amazing fried rice dish. And everything in it went well together. Somebody definitely put a lot of thoughts into making this. Alright, it's time to try that one. Let me explain to you guys what's in this. 
The outer layer is actually egg and uh, seaweed, rice cooked with abalone, and some ham. Let's try this. My honest opinion on this, I think it tasted a little too bland to my personal taste. And I couldn't really taste the abalone that they claim to have put into this kimbap, which is kind of a shame. I got a lot of food for myself and for a second I was worried that I might not be able to finish everything. But I finished everything pretty easily because I'm a big boy with big dreams and I can eat big American sized dinners. And I guess that's the end of my street food journey here. I had such an amazing day, had some good food and met some amazing people. Well I spent a lot of money to be here but at least I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And you know if you wanna help me, you can always watch my other videos follow me on Instagram, or even join this membership for some exclusive storytime videos in the future. Well, you guys don't have to spend money, but it would be like good for the both of us, you know what I mean? Till we meet again, goodbye my friends.